Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Today I have a quick tip for you regarding UV scaling. So the biggest thing about this is that I have this model here and I have UV unwrapped it, but uh, I will show you, as you guys can see here in my UV map, it's not a square texture. And I did that mostly because I adopted a different pipeline that is not UDIM, uh, UV coordinate textures, is actually uh, about creating a character and then saving space in that UV map to append future uh, updates uh, into the same texture later. And I needed to have a different um, aspect radio for my texture. So as you guys can see here, I have this old map. Just let me unselect the UV so you guys can see. I have this old map here for a char character and I haven't used uh, part of the texture. And the, why I did that mostly because I needed to save this space of the texture so I could uh, upload a future model into the same texture atlas after. So that's why I used a different aspect radio for that texture. Then what I did is I UV unwrapped all the chain cell and the additional files into this second UV map. And now uh, we have a problem because I need to transfer this UV map to the new one, to the old texture, without it is stretching the, the, the current scale that we have. And there's a way we can do that, actually. Um, if you see, if we change the texture here, the UVs, they get stretched in the Y direction, and we don't want this. We just want to transfer the UVs without uh, getting the textures to, to stretch. So how do we fix that? Well, uh, we can see the size of the texture here. And if you look up, we have 295 uh, uh, pixels in the Y direction. So what we can do is bring up the calculator and divide uh, this, this size here by the size of the new texture, which is uh, 1024. So let's do the math. If, if we divide 295 by 1024, we have uh, a size convertible of 0, 0, 0 0.2880. So if we want to get this scale into the new texture, what we can do is go here to the new texture and click S Y 0 0.2880. And there we go. We have scaled it down to the same accurate size we had in the previous texture. And now we can simply click G and Y. And there we go. Here's the place I want it to be mapped. Now we can bring this to Substance Painter and have some fun. Another thing uh, you need to be aware when you're working with known square textures is that uh, sometimes when you're going to UV unwrap that texture, it's not going to get uh, the same proportional UVs as your two-dimensional file. And Actually, we can test that out by having this cube here. I have set up all its scenes. And if I press U and clicking unwrap, you can see that we don't get the right uh, correct aspect for that cube because we are working with non-square textures. And the workaround around that is simple. Actually, when you have cycles enabled, you can create a new material for that cube. And here in the node settings, 
uh, you, we need to tell cycles that uh, the correct aspect for the texture we are using. So if we click Shift A and bring a new image texture and assign to that and select that texture here, which is this one. Now, if we smart UV wrap that cube, we have the correct aspect for that uh, three dimensional file. And this happens because now cycles can understand the, the size of the texture we are using and use that information to actually generate, generate our UVs. So always remember to do that.